you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best investments that I've been speaking about for the last month or so. And is it time to sell? I'm going to go over kind of like a little talk about that. I'm going to go over kind of exactly how you should be prepping for this. And kind of the opportunity you guys may have missed last night. So if you guys do not know, last night they did announce the kickoff promo to release September 20th, which is a Friday. It's about eight days from today. Approximately eight days from exactly now is when it'll release at this exact time, just about. Now, if you guys don't know, the light is not on on the left of me. There we go. Now we can go. So if you guys do not know, they announced a few of the big guys. So they announced Khalil Mack, DeAndre Hopkins, Aaron Rodgers, and Richard Sherman. Now, I don't know if those are the bosses, because last year, remember, we had the big guys, 91, then we had the bosses. I don't know if they announced the bosses yet, or if those are the bosses. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but, but, those guys do obviously have power-ups, such as Aaron Rodgers, such as Richard Sherman. Now, I did eventually, I did at one point tell you guys that some of the best investments were Richard Sherman, Aaron Rodgers. I have mentioned Khalil Mack. Now, if you guys look, Richard Sherman just sold for me for about 14800 I did buy his car, his Richard Sherman power-up cards for about four k so you guys have to understand like you don't make crazy money off one you make crazy money off a bunch so if i had bought 10 shermans for 5k which i should have done i would have made about 50k so for those of you who listen to me you're going to make some money so now you have to sell off hype and i feel like a lot of you guys didn't the card releases the power up gets bought out a ton you sell them people come the next morning they're like oh he doesn't go for a lot. You lie. No, no, You. I told you have to sell them when it happens. You can't wait. Now, guys, before I get into the bulk of this video, make sure to go down below. Give me a big thumbs up. If you're a loyal supporter, if you've listened to me for months now or this whole month, make sure to go down below. Smack the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes, guys. Go crazy on the like button. If your NFL team won or lost this week, hit the like button. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're really close to 8K, guys. I know I've been saying that for a while. Things have been a lot slower, though. So I keep saying, I think we're going to get there. But guys, we are really close. So go make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Now let's get into this. So upon the news of what happened last night, I looked. I took a look at my power-ups. I was not home, so I did miss out on a few of the bangers. So they did release the Richard Sherman. His price went up to about 20K. I wasn't home. I sold him for 14 when he went back down. Now, Khalil Mack got announced. I can't verify this, but I was playing. I mean, I wasn't home, but I was looking at Mudhead, and at some point it said that Khalil Mack was 199k. I don't know how true that was, but he is 57k. So for those of you who listened to me when he was going for 28k and 30k, and I said buy him. You will make about a net profit, about like 25k. Round it up, about 25k. So if you bought like four of these, you you profit like 120k. And now, guys, I know that might not sound like a lot, but 120k is a lot. Just for doing nothing, for not playing the game, for doing literally for just using some of your coins and then getting it right back. It's like a safe investment right there. Like that's like a solid investment. You've returned double your value. It's a huge in real life, that'd be a huge investment if you brought back double what you spent. So for that reason, being Khalil Mack last night, if you got to sell him for about 100k when he first went up, awesome, but I was not home for that. And I don't really want to sell him anyways, because I'm planning to actually keep this Khalil Mack and probably power him up. Now, I imagine there will be solo challenges coming out that will be going allow you to get at least one of them free. So that's kind of why I kept Khalil Mack. I personally want him. Is he better than Von Miller? I do not know yet. I think they're about the same, which kind of makes me skeptical about who I should take. I might end up taking actually DeAndre Hopkins also because I do have him fully powered up. But besides the point, getting back to this, Aaron Rodgers was announced. Upon release, Aaron Rodgers was going for like 20K. Hopefully you guys sold him because now he's back down state. I always tell you guys this. When it comes to investing on power-ups, that's why it's crucial to have the, uh, the Madden Companion app. I sadly can't have it because to give this, make this qu a quick story short, a few years ago when I was like, oh, maybe like, 10 15 years ago and i was like seven my uncle used to come over and play on my xbox all the time and he made an ea account to play fifa which ultimately ended up linking to my madden account and every other ea sports origin account i had he used an old old aol or like aim email that is discontinued now so i can't even reset the password i can't do anything i have a lot of issues with it so i'm not able to sign to the madden companion app which does really suck but for you guys you probably don't have that uh, an issue so you guys can get the Madden companion app the second you see it, you go on your phone real quick at work wherever you are just go sell the card he is going for about 9k right now which is still good because you did buy them for like 4 and 5k so you still make 3k back if you had 10 of these i'll be 30k that's really not that bad if you bought in bulk of a lot of these you're going to return quite a bit amount of coin now travis kelsey's are going for like 2k i said to buy a few of those he did just get announced and right when he got announced he went to like 10k and then he came right back down so he's going for about 5k right now so again, if you bought them for 2K and you sell them for 5, you're still making like 2K each. So that's still, if you bought like 10 of them, 20K. Now, if you bought all of these in bulks of like 10, you probably made a few hundred thousand coins. 
It's just free coins. I know you guys think like, oh, it wasn't as big as I thought, but it's just free coins. And I remember Travis Kelsey's on a banger. Aaron Rodgers is not a banger in that aspect. A banger's like Tyreek Hill, Bobby Wagner, Pat Mahomes, Khalil Mack, Von Miller. Those guys are the ones that are going to go for a tremendous amount of coins. But with the way this game plays right now with Lamar Jackson and Vicks out. See, if Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick wasn't out yet, that Aaron Rodgers price would have been crazy expensive. But people are rocking with Lamar and they have already Vicks. So like they already dropped the OP quarterbacks. They're going to rock with the majority of the year. So... People aren't exactly as heavily invested. There's not as much of a demand for those cards as they, they usually would be. But on the bright side, they did not release a Saquon Barkley. Why is it on the bright side? Because I think he might be getting a Mud Hero card. Now I'm hype. We're probably like a 92 or 93 overall Mud Hero card. And that will be my brand new running back. I'm waiting for it. I know he's going to get one. So if it's Mud Heroes, I'll be really hyped about that, guys. Again, Saquon Barkley is another power up that has not. I did tell you guys to invest him when he was like he was going for like 9 12k he's now 25k i told you guys to buy as many saquon you could get when he was going for like 9 to 15k somewhere between there hope you guys did because now you would have already doubled your money just about if you bought him at that price and when a new saquon drops oh you better believe saquon's gonna go for like 50 60k so i hope you guys bought those i only bought two because i've been low on coins so i only was able to buy two of them now remember guys another banger power probably lamar jackson i imagine that he's not out yet but I think when Series 2 drops in about a week, Lamar Jackson will probably go down. He'll probably get a power-up. I hope so, at least. And if he does get a power-up, then you can best believe that will be a crazy one that if you could buy low, you could definitely sell it high when he gets a new card. Mobile quarterbacks, mobile quarterback power-ups are going to be the wave this year. A lot, Whatever the meta is, pretty much those power-ups will be the waves. Like Khalil Max, um, maybe a, uh, what's it called? A Wagner, Tyreek Hill, any of those type of guys that like you know that people are going to have to have on their team. Those are the guys you want. Yes, I do have a lot of Bo Jacksons. I bought them for like 3K when everyone was doing the solo challenges, and they are up to about 6.9. I'm hoping that when the Mutt 10 thing actually drops, we get our free players. Bo goes up a little bit, but if not, I'll just end up selling them for 7K. Make back a net profit of like 4K each, and I have like 10 of them, so I'll be 40K right there. Guys, that's just easy coin. If you add it all up on Khalil Mack, I would have made back 30K. On the Wagners, let's see, I got them for like 7K. They're going for about 15. I would have made about, I got, I think I have two of them, right? Two Wagners. Three wagons, so I would have made like 20k there, 30k there, that's 50k. On all these, I would make like another 40k, 90k. Oh, another Wagner, another two Wagners. So I'm already, I'm already working with almost over 100k. And then if I sell the Kelsey for an extra 2k, it's like 102k. The Barkley, 110k. Guys, this was this was a move. I'm, this is just free coins, in my opinion, just for playing the block and using. Just, all I gotta do is spare a little bit of coins per week just to get a few. I've been buying them slowly, and look, it paid off in my opinion. And remember, these aren't even bangers yet, like because these kickoff players weren't bad. It was DeAndre Hopkins, a slower receiver, Richard Sherman, a slower cornerback, Aaron Rodgers, a non-mobile QB, and Khalil Mack, which would have been a banger if he was a higher overall than Von Miller. That is what held Khalil Mack's price from going well over 100k base, because if they had released a Von, uh, Von Miller's 91 overall for free. Khalil Mack is a very expensive 91 overall. So if you compare the stats, they're so similar that it doesn't make sense for people to like go out there and really kill. Like, see, if they dropped a Khalil Mack that was a 92 overall, people would have been like, I need the new best, I need the new best outside linebacker. So everyone who had Von Miller, or at least a large part of the community, would have went for that Khalil Mack. But because they made him the same overall with literally identical stats, people are like, oh, well, maybe, like, even me, like, do I really have to break the bank for him? Probably not. Cars that break the bank, like a Vic or like a Lamar Jackson, those cars people are, or Lawrence Taylor, those cars that break the bank that don't get free solos for power ups, people are gonna go out there crazy buying them. But like I said, you don't break the bank for this Khalil Mack because Von Miller is so identical. Now, if he was better, people would have broke the bank. Me, even me, I don't think I'm gonna stick with Von Miller for now because unless I get a free one from the solo challenges, it doesn't exactly make sense for me personally to go spend 300k on another outside linebacker plus this power up that I have on top of the fact that I have Von Miller and he's just gonna go to waste now. But guys, that is about it as far as investments go. I will be updating you guys over the course of the next week or so. I think it is the time to sell a few of these. Like I said, if you have Aaron Rodgers and Sherman, they won't be getting cards for quite a while. So make back what you can on those. And like I said, you're obviously going to make something as long as you didn't overpay for them. I did tell you guys specifically what prices to do, what prices not to do. So as long as you listen to me, you should be fine. Guys like Saquon, I'm still holding on to because obviously Saquon Barkley is going to get a card. And if he's going for 25k without a card, oh God, you can imagine he's going to be going for a lot with the card. And guys like Earl Thomas, I'm trolling on to because I did buy him for a lot earlier in the year. So I'll wait for him to get a new card. Um, some of these I just pulled. Bo Jackson's, I kind of just taken the L on these at this point. I mean, I didn't lose money, but I thought they'd go up a little bit more. And they did for a while, and I should have sold them, but I wasn't playing Madden that day. That a day when they were all like 15K, I probably should have sold them, but I did not, guys. But that is about it for the video. So make sure to go down below, guys. Smack the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I greatly appreciate that. If you made it this far, like the video. It takes a second. Make sure to go down below, hit the noti bell. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We're so close to 8K. Let's get there. Get me over the hump, guys. 
I have that sort of 10k subscriber special still coming, guys. It got pushed back for uh, weather reasons, but I will be working on that shortly, guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, comment down below. Say what's up. Go hit me up on Twitter. Whatever you guys want to do. Poodle underscore YT. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.